And we're back. So let's blow up Earth right now because I speed run through the entire game and got here no problem in like two hours or so. Uh, I don't know how many hours. And also, I was wrong in thinking there was a final boss for the bad ending. And I'll get to that in a second after this bad ending uh, cutscene goes, plays because I haven't seen it yet, so I'm very curious how it goes, plays out. Three, two, one. Oh no. Oh, that's fucked. Assimilation. Oh man, because you sort of make this realization of when you're when you are on Earth, just walking around, you're just spreading plague and you're destroying. You're just one guy. There's multiple now, and pff, goodbye Earth. Holy shit! Sorry, bunny. I should have chose this ending. I should have chose this ending before the good ending, but. Can you fault me when you want to beat the AI boss? Because it looked really tempting. And if you, like, go against the AI's, um, uh, ways, you need to face it. So, obviously, I wanted to go, I wanted to face the final boss. I really did think, I really did thought that there was a final boss at, at, at the, after, once the, I really, no, sorry. I really did thought that there was a final boss afterwards for the, not afterwards, during, like, as there were final boss for the good ending, I really thought there was a, a bad ending final boss. That's what I was trying to get at. But sadly, that's not the case. And I will explain as to how I sort of found that out, which was my curiosity. But, uh, and also, I did the speed run, and I was just doing it because I, was, I enjoyed the game a lot, and I wanted to see how fast I could beat it. But there's also a thing I want to ask if people have had this problem, and it's not only me. But the speed run, um, because there there were times where I was like actually having like a good speed run or like a good run going on, and the screen just cuts to black for like five to ten seconds or maybe a bit less, and it was so like what the fuck it, it, it like came out of nowhere and I was wondering if anyone has that sort of problem, uh, and knows how to resolve it or whatever or if it happens to someone, and it's not resolvable like. I want to know if I'm not the only one uh, having this sort of problem because it, it's kind of odd, and it didn't happen. It didn't happen during the story mode, but it happened during the speed run mode, which was weird. Uh, like I, I don't understand as to why that happened. Now, let's go back to the explanation as to how I found out. So as I was doing the editing for the good ending. I saw that 6 skipped 7 and goes to 8, and then as I saw before, which was during the good ending, is like, oh yeah, there's an 11th uh, slot missing. And what this is, the practice, is is that... Oh, sorry, Burpee, sorry about that. Is that it's not telling you that these are bosses. <gasps> Rather, it's telling you these are chapters. So... In chapter 7, it's when it was the architect sort of building establishment of how the overview... Oh man, I'm sorry, I'm really burping, I don't know why. Oh. But it was sort of showing overall, like, how the prison was made and how, what, what, like, what it looks like. That was chapter 7. And chapter 11 was the... Uh, what, what, was when you, when, you were, when you were on land and running around freely and the credits were playing. That's that's chapter 11. Now, with that said and done, that's how I found out that, that there was no boss, uh, final boss ending for bad ending, sadly, and I was kind of hoping that the rabbit would be the final boss because it would be like the last stand sort of ordeal, but I, I, I was wrong. I was really hoping for it, but I was wrong. Um, now let's go about the star. <sighs> Stars over roaming as shit. Oh my god. God, the star was overwhelming with a bunch of stuff flooring at you. And the, to make matters worse, it implements a new rule where the suit is slower than how you are regularly are when you're on foot with a bunch of the other bosses that you've been fighting throughout the entire time. You're, you've been so used to how loose and how fast you're going. 
that when you face the star, when you're wearing a suit, you're slow and it feels heavy. And it it, if to other people, it might not be that way, but for me, that's what it felt like, and that's what kept making me fuck up towards uh, like dodging the bullets and whatnot, or it was just me just sucking at the game. But in Star, it was really overwhelming. Oh my god, fuck you. But as you practice the star and you sort of see its patterns and it's not as bad, but for a person playing this for a blind playthrough for their first time, yeah, the star is fucking tough. Like, holy shit, the star was tough. Like, the scale was my kryptonite and the light was my saltiness, but the star was on a whole new level of um, overwhelming in, in terms of... Oh, what it what it threw at you and oh man, but overall Fury was really good. I enjoyed each of the bosses. They were all different and unique. I know that's pretty much saying the same thing, but they're really enjoyable. If you, by all means, I would highly suggest to buy this. Um, it's it's really good. I'm not. I'm also I'm not getting paid for uh, the guys who made these. Like I'm just honestly saying in my own personal opinion. Go go out of your way buy this. It's it's a good deal. It was on the it was on the Xbox Live Store for like twenty bucks, and I would say that was a good twenty bucks in my opinion. Maybe someone was argue saying, ah, oh, wait for it's fifteen or wait for a drop, or maybe you could buy a Steam for even cheaper. Who knows? Um, before I say what's to come next, I do want to mention, ah, oh, fuck, what I want to mention that the story the, during the story, what I really like about the story was that the whole walking process, like once you beat the boss and then you have your walk towards the next boss, it really reminded me of Shadow of the Colossus, where once you beat a boss in Shadow of the Colossus, and then um, once you go to the next box, to the next boss, sorry, not box, boss, you would, you would sort of like, that was the, um, that was the build up, was you walking towards the next boss and that was the whole build up. And Fury's case, it was the same sort of implement where when you're walking, that was the whole build-up. It was like a resting point. And also the bunny telling you, hey, by the way, here's a bunch of lore dump of behind this character's backstory and whatnot, and that's what you got from him. Uh, that's what you got from each of the boss, and it was really good. I did enjoy it. I really enjoyed this game. It was it, 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 it was great overall. Despite a lot of my saltiness and my bitching and complaining during the boss fights. It was a good game. No, uh, with that said and done, the next game to be playing on the channel, um, here's the thing, I want to see if this game works first, so I don't want to promise you saying or giving you the hint, sort of implicating what that game is, and it's not that game, so for when I come back next week, wherever this uh, is uploaded, um, I'm going to say right now that I will leave you in the dark and I will not be giving you any hints. With that said and done, um, with that said and done, uh, man, buy the game. It's fucking great. Fury out. So there's Fury spell for an I and there's Fury spell for a Y. So why is I not I and why is Y not I? So we have to come to the conclusion, the reason why there's I in Fury and in the game title is because I has team. Team is I. So if I has team, that means that the bunny and the main character help one another to escape. But Y can also be a definition of team, because the two Y's support one another for one's end goal. Or I like to call it the under Y. But even in that case, the, the button doesn't really help you that much. He, I mean, sure, he escape makes you escape from prison, but that doesn't really mean he, that he helps you with the boss fights. He just stands there and gives you plunk dump. So, honestly, that fucking debunks the theory. So now we have to come to the conclusion that Fury and Fury are two different concepts in terms of anger. Fury and Fury S with an O U S. That's why it's called Fury. But even though the main character is not that fierce, so it doesn't really mean even that much sense. He's like a calm motherfucker. So what does it even mean? I give up. I don't know what the fuck this is.